Hi, water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. How are you? Bringing in some messages for you for September 1st and 2nd. Doesn't have to be if you're here because the title spoke to you or you liked the, the uh, thumbnail. Perfect. There could be a message here for you. <clears throat> this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But it's for the collective. It's for it's a general reading. So just take what resonates. Leave the rest. You can also watch the videos that correspond with your rising sign, your uh, Venus or your moon sign. And if you don't know what those are, there's a link in the description box that will take you to a short video I did that will help you find that out. Easy peasy. I'm uh, still got my TV on, waiting for a hurricane to come through. Send me positive energy. <laughs> anyway, I don't think it's going to hit me. I'm on the West Coast. So, um, but you know, better safe than sorry. I've been through so many of these in the past 30 years. It's unbelievable. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, welcome. What I uh, do here is I start with um, an oracle. I'm going to use the energy oracle card for you first. I haven't used that one for the water signs for a little while. And it just sort of gives us an overarching energy of the reading oh okay this is interesting for you water sign the card that came out is hostilities but it came out in reverse end of conflict end of tension a return to calm so that's sort of the overarching energy here it's number 26 that adds up to an eight let me just double check, make sure. Yeah, so it's um, end of hostilities, a shift in energies around you or even about you, and the universe is supporting your own internal shifts as well. So if you've been sort of at battle with yourself over something, water sign, if there's been something that's been bothering you, um, an inner battle, it could be that. That path is clearing. Beautiful, beautiful, overarching energy. So let's see what comes through for you. I will be using here the, um, this is the Morgan Greer deck. <clears throat> I also put links down to the decks I use. If you want to check out Oracle or my tarot decks. And then I use this little teeny tiny Aquarian tarot deck to, um, to clarify. So let's see what's going on for you. We've got the Knight of Wands. So some fast at moving action, some fast moving energy is coming in. That's the underlying energy of this reading. This top row water sign, if you're new to the channel, um, welcome, will be representative of the other person. That's my intention. Feel free to flip the characters, especially if you're a cross watcher watching about a water sign. Second row is usually about you, about the sign that I'm channeling messages for. And then the bottom row is about the connection. Okay, and then the extended portion of the reading, I do the... Uh, advice or action, strengths or challenges to the connection, and the potential for the outcome. But right now, this part should give you a good idea of if this is your message or not. So what I see here, right up front, water sign, is what's capturing my attention is we've got this action, you know, the Knight of Wands. <coughs> Nine of Wands can be somebody who's in and out of your life a lot. For whatever reason, it's like a cycling through. They kind of come in hot and heavy, and then they're on their way. So that's the energy of that card. But what I see here happening up top is um, we have the tower. Tower is usually symbolic of Aries, so you could be dealing with a fire sign in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but what it tells me is since it comes out in the position of who this person is, this person is going through it right now. They're in the midst of a tower moment right now, happening now. And it has to do with their finances and their future. 
and it could have to do with their future with you this is the two of wands so and the four of pentacles is you know trying to hold on it can be withholding energy but since we have this tower moment something's coming through and being knocked out you know just just imagine all the bowling pins just being wiped out and coming you know the earth coming out from underneath this person and they're trying to hold on to their security there you know it could be money assets properties um you know it, 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 whatever they consider their security it could be their job it, you know whatever it is some the ground is shifting beneath their feet and it, and it has to do with their future and it has to do with the choices about their future um and it could be that those choices are being made for them sort of out of their hands kind of thing the universe is coming in now remember we started out with this end of hostilities but this feels like there's something pretty major going on for this other person that you're dealing with <clears throat> then we come to you water sign and you're coming through as temperance you're coming through as patience personified you are not buying into the drama although we have this seven seven of wands here which is can be defensive it can be but it can also it can also be protective there's a protective defensive posture here but you're you're coming through as very patient very benevolent um, um, temperance is sagittarius energy which is fire it's uh, jupiter it's expansive it's allowing and then followed by the sun ultimate joy so you're being patient through what whatever this person is going through you're being patient through it so you can have your ultimate joy and you might be a little bit defensive about it you might be in a position of of pushback and you know we started with this hostilities in reverse card right hostilities look at this guy and his posture and look at this guy and his posture what i'm trying to tell you is that's this is done there might be some residual but you're being patient through it you're maintaining balance there's flow back and forth here if you look at this card this angel is archangel is just got a constant flow of water between the two cups get that two cups two of cups in the connection working together this is definitely a, and it's interesting that it's lined up under this four of pentacles um so it feels like some there's something to do with security here and then we have the two of pentacles also in the connection so you know choices to be made um the two the two of pentacles often has me feeling like it's, there's a juggling act right i gotta you know i gotta keep all the balls in the air is how it feels um, but it's it's with regard to stability and security there are choices to be made and and it's also in line there's another two here with the two of wands choices to be made with regard to the future and whoever this is doesn't want to lose their assets and here in the connection you're working together to maintain that so see how this is all lining up and there was some sort of hostile situation in the middle you're maintaining pa patience while this person goes through their tower moment and all this crap is literally leveled and because wishes fulfilled nine of cups that is what is in store for you that's what you're being patient about Whew. all right I know I'm touching the cards a lot. I get my energy from them. I'll try not to seem too obsessive. <laughs> I am a Virgo, so I do like when everything lines up nice and orderly, but that's not really what I'm doing. 
<laughs> okay. Whoop. That card wanted to come out. Eight of Pentacles, and I was looking at it for this Four of Pentacles. What is it? What is it about this Four of Pentacles? And it's like, I've done a lot of hard work. This other person, you maybe deal, I, I don't know if it's a fire sign or if it's an earth sign. It could be an earth sign. Could be a Leo here as well. Sun, could be Leo. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, doesn't have to be. But that's the energy coming through. And... They've worked so hard, this Eight of Pentacles, right? This person's just been banging out hard work all their life, all their life, and, and now it's going to be taken away? Oh, hell no. So that's, that's what that's about. Thank you. Here, let me get a good, a good shuffle here. I want to see this tower. What's this tower about? Why is the tower here coming through? Ask this other person. Six of cups. Nine of wands. They're at the end of their rope. They're almost giving up on this. That's, that's really powerful, okay? All right, water sign. So this other person, it could be you. If this is you, then this other person down here is being very patient. They know that you're their ultimate joy. Uh, they're trying to have your back here but if if i have it right this other person is having their tower moment and they're trying they're they're almost giving up on getting back to their twin to their twin flame soulmate past life past life soulmate and that's what the tower moment is about it's about them Trying to manifest this forward motion, a future with, with you. I mean, it's obvious that it's you. They're trying to make choices and decisions about the future. They feel like they can't go on much more. Nine of Wands is, I am ready to quit. I'm ready to throw in the towel. You're being patient. Show me more about this Knight of Wands, Queen of Wands, Six of Wands. All right. So in this instance, Six of Wands is, it can be reconciliation, but it also feels like it's, it's like um, the wreath, this person's coming back from battle, victorious, all right, so this Knight of Wands is being victorious, but he's got the, the wreath of peace. He wants peace with this Queen of Wands. So that may be what's happening here is whoever this person is, the Queen of Wands, who the Queen of Wands is, uh, she's very attractive. She's very domineering. She's very decisive. She is passionate she you know commands a room when she walks in the room all heads turn that kind of energy so whoever this you know person is that the, it feels like the tower moment is happening um, with regard to a queen of wands energy and they're trying to move forward and they want peace They want peace, mainly because they want to hold on to their <laughs> to, to their security and stability. Who wouldn't, right? All right, show me more about this sun energy. What's the sun energy? Show me the sun. Why is the sun here? King of Wands. Ah, oh, four. Okay, correction. This may be somebody that you're not in connection with right now. There was host there might have been hostilities between the two of you that are now over 
because this person is going through their tower moment. They had almost given up. They want on the soul on the on this twin flame connection. They'd almost given up on this past life soulmate, which is you. You are even though you're a water sign, you're the one that's the queen of wands and they want to reconcile. So that's what this fast action is about. This person wants to come in fast to reconcile with this queen of wands, this attractive person. And now when I see in your lineup the sun and I queried about the sun, this person, this sun, this joy, this ultimate joy in your life, this Leo energy is a king of wands. So now we have the king and the queen of wands. And the four of wands, 1111 twin flame soulmate. So I'm pretty sure that you're both, you're both exhibiting a lot of this fiery, passionate energy in this connection um, or you did and maybe you're not in connection you're not in um, union right now you're in separation but you're being patient because you know this tower moment is underway it, it feels to me like you know it's underway and that's why this hostilities thing is in reverse now peace is coming in um, if you just stay patient okay so what I'm going to do is, um, well, let me just see one more thing before I go here. Tell me more about this Two of Pentacles. What's the Two of Pentacles in the connection about? Yeah, they're being patient. They have a lot of juggling to do. A lot of choices have to be made. Decisions have to be made. Actions with regard to stability need to be taken to bring in this brand new opportunity. And the, it's, it's the Ace of Wands. And obviously the Ace of Wands is about the King and Queen of Wands. It's like this new opportunity at love, a fresh start, a fresh new beginning at this passionate connection. But decisions have to be made, actions have to be taken that provide a sense of stability. Right now that feels very up in the air, right? Whew, okay, so I'm going to go on to the extended. I'll look, like I said, I'll look at the... Um, any advice or action to take, strengths or challenges to the connection and the outcome. All right. All right, water sign. Good reading for you. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, the link to the extended is right in the description. See you over there. Bye-bye.